Hey y'all, welcome to the Max Kitchen. Today we are going to be flavoring our kombucha. So I am super excited about this because a few weeks back you saw me making my SCOBY. So I want to show you my SCOBY and then we're going to flavor our kombucha. So this has been in our cabinet for about between three and four weeks and open it up. I have also got a clean bowl. Number one thing that I did was just wash my hands. So my hands are nice and clean. So before you reach into this, you wanna have good clean hands. So I've gotten a bowl and what I'm going to do is take my SCOBY. Oh, it's so nice and thick. Look! So I've gotten my SCOBY and you can tell that it has done great. So I am so excited about that. And what I want to do now is take about a cup of this and pour over into my SCOBY because I'm going to reuse this when I get done pouring off this kombucha because this is now kombucha. I'm going to take my bowl and my SCOBY, put it back in here, refeed it with more tea. Then I can do this again in a week. Okay, so let's get flavor going. Now, I have just used old jars from kombucha that we've bought from the store. There are different types of bottles and stuff like that that you can buy online. Um, I just reused what we had. And I did, if you see the steam coming from right there, I have another jar in there because what I did is I went ahead and took the labels off, which took forever. Took the labels off. I had to use some lemongrass oil to help get the sticky off the outside. Then I dropped them down into some boiling water um, because I wanted to make sure that these are super clean. And since we're going to be drinking out of them, each time that I pour up my kombucha, I'm going to just drop these in some boiling water just to make sure that they're nice and clean. So um, I also dropped the caps in. They're plastic, so I did not leave them for very long. Just a few seconds, and then I pulled them right up. So, the two flavors that I have chosen for us to start off with is 100% apple juice. Now, this has natural sugars in it, which is a good thing because our um, tea is going to eat the sugars in your kombucha and it's going to give it a, the good carbonation. But you do have to be very, very careful when you're bottling because these things will build up a ton of pressure. So I'm gonna burp mine every night. I'm gonna leave them out on the counter for about two days, but we'll get to that, I'm jumping ahead. Apple juice, 100% pineapple juice was the other flavor that we chose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna do apple in the clear. I'm gonna do pineapple in two of the darks. And then I'm going to mix apple and pineapple in this one. And I'm going to put the white top so I'll know that it was a mixed flavor. Um, so let's get started. Let's do our mix first. And this does not take much. So you see my bottle. And I'm only going to put about that much of pineapple juice. And then the rest I'm going to fill up with kombucha. And then I'm going to stop the kombucha right up here when I get to the um, curve in the bottle. So let's do a little bit of pineapple in there. Like I said, it doesn't take, that's actually a little bit too much. It doesn't take um, a lot at all. So I'm going to pour some off from in here. That's good there. That's good there. good there okay this is going to be the one that I'm going to mix so I'm going to set it off to the side okay this is going to be my apple you can see that it doesn't take a lot just a little bit and now I'm going to actually take my kombucha 
and we're gonna get it poured in. I might not be able to pour this because this jar seems to make a mess when we pour off of it. So I might actually have to get a cup and scoop it in. Let's see how it goes. You have to wait way too long for this to waste any, so I don't want to waste. There we go. So right when I get to the about the rounded part, if y'all can see that, I'm gonna stop. And this was apple. This was the mixed. I'll keep up with my flavors and this is going to be strictly experimental for us this is the y'all heard me say it before this is I just made my scoby so this is our first bottling of kombucha so we are super excited over so I've got a bit my big jar like a really big jar is actually the one that's in there so I'll have to finish this up in just a minute when that jar gets very ready but here we go here's our kombucha so what I'm planning on doing with mine is I'm going to set them over on the counter for about two days now tonight and tomorrow night I will just open these up just a little bit and it's called it's called burping because this is going to put off a gas that gives it that carbonation. So I want to burp these so that when in two days I come back in here and I don't open up the top and it comes out everywhere because it will do that. It will build up so much pressure that it will do that. But um, that's my, what I'm planning on doing is putting these over on the counter for two days. I'm going to burp them every night and let me finish pouring this up and then I'm going to put my SCOBY back in and um, put my, my tea is cold. It's room temperature. It's not cold. It's room temperature. I made this last night. So I'm going to put this back on top of my SCOBY so we can have kombucha again the next week. All right, so I've gotten my big jar pulled out. I've got both flavors in this, and I need to pour up the rest of my kombucha. Now, I did have to let this cool down, which took me a little longer than I had hoped, but let's get this finished up. have a little bit left but I'm just gonna leave that in there and this is where this is where we're gonna finish up and I've got to get jeans down for a nap <laughs> take him outside until I'm done please okay so I just washed my hands again because I was touching my phone I'm posting y'all nice pictures on Instagram and Facebook of my scoby so I'm gonna take this girls what do y'all think about this Wax? Wax, it's not wax. What, what? What is it? It's uh. called a SCOBY. This is what makes our kombucha. Don't touch it. My hands are clean. So I need to, um, I'm actually gonna pour my tea first. Mama. So let's thinking? pour my tea. Hold on. I'm gonna pour my tea. This is like refeeding it. So this is just plain tea. I mean, I made tea just like I always do. And I'm going to put my SCOBY back in there and pour my cup back in there. And I've got, this is um, non-bleached cheesecloth. It, it, I have it 
flared four times. Anything like a kitchen rag will do. Um, you need something that definitely, if you have the, like this is cloth, like clothes cloth. Um, anything like that will do. And I have just a piece of twine and I pull it around this rim really tight so nothing can get in there. And I'm gonna put it back in the top of my pantry where no light can get to it. And I'm gonna leave it there until next week. And then I'll pull this out again next week and repeat the whole process. But I'm hoping to have some new flavors next week. So super excited, major accomplishment here. Um, starting the SCOBY from scratch. I did not buy one. I did not have anybody give me one. I made my own and very excited about that. It looks perfect. It looks perfect and um, I cannot wait for us to try this. So we will have to turn the cameras back on when we start trying our kombucha. I'm gonna try to show you how I burp them um, and what the final sound of carbonation sounds like from um, the kombucha feeding off the sugar. So super excited about that. Major accomplishment here at the Max um, on fermenting tea to make our very own SCOBY and our very own kombucha. Happy homesteading, y'all.